Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're back in the Great League, taking a look at some first, some of my first battles and uh, trying out a new lead which is Obstagoon. Um, I'm enjoying using Obstagoon, very spammy Pokemon. So let's get into these matchups straight in here. Okay, so I've got Mantine at the lead at the moment. We've got some Obstagoon lead towards the end. Mantine lead works quite well. Do switch out there with a charge move stored. And now we bring in Skarmory, go straight for the sky attack on the Altaria. Does a nice chunk of damage there. And now we do have an attack incoming ourselves. We do decide to shield to preserve the health on the Skarmory. Another charge move coming, didn't quite get the farm down there. Just a sky attack, not very effective. We do manage to farm down the Altaria this time. We do have a Brave Bird store. I think we go for the Brave Bird nuke, but unfortunately the opponent does shield smartly there. And they do take us out. And then we come back in with a man time. We do have an Ice Beam stored, hoping that the opponent does not shield here because that will do a massive chunk of damage. The opponent does shield smartly there, and now we do have an attack coming ourselves. We do shield, we don't want to get hit by that frenzy plant. Hopefully we can get to an ice beam before the opponent charges another frenzy plant. We unfortunately can't get there. Unfortunately Mantine does go down, but now it's Venusaur versus Venusaur. The opponent gets to a charge move before us again here. Is a sludge bomb does a massive chunk of damage we do manage to farm up a bit of extra energy there before going for a sludge bomb ourselves which will hopefully take down the venusaur the venusaur does go down now the wigglytuff comes back in we can get to the sludge bomb in time there which should be taking out the wigglytuff for that super effective poison damage on the fairy type there very good match there well played to the opponent moving straight into the next matchup we do have Stunfisk on the lead this time against the Kingdra, not the best lead for us. But the opponent does switch into a Gyarados, and we switch into Venusaur very sharply there. So we know the Frenzy Plant damage will be doing a massive chunk of the Gyarados' health. The opponent does shield. We are charging a lot faster than the Gyarados here. We do shield the Crunch. Opponent gets to another charge move before we can get to the second frenzy plant there. It's just an aqua tail, so it's smart not to shield there because it won't be doing a lot of damage. We now go for the frenzy plant. The opponent doesn't shield, takes down the Gyarados there. Frenzy plant is such a hard hitting move. I always had trouble against Venusaur, and now I've got Venusaur on my team. It's, it closes out so many matches for me. Now we come back in with a stun fist with a rock slide stored. Such a spammy Pokemon Stunfist, probably one of my favourites. I nearly always, nearly always run it on my teams. The opponent does get to a charge move. We do shield. And I think we get to another rock slide. The opponent does switch into a Sharpedo there to catch our sharp charge move, unfortunately. Does a massive chunk of damage there on the Sharpedo. We do get to another rock slide before the Sharpedo can hit us with a charge move. Sharpedo goes down, the opponent does still have a shield unfortunately. We can get to the rock slide before the Kingdra charges itself up. They do shield this time and now they go for the charge move so they've thrown their energy on us here. That does take down the Stunfisk, we still have Mew in the back. Both shields are down so hopefully we can we go for the flame charge, power us up. And that is a good battle there. Bah, straight into the next matchup. Every match seems so close in the Great League these days. Even in these lower ranks, every single match seems tough. We're going straight for the rock slide here. Does a nice chunk on the Skarmory. Now they have to charge move incoming. Just a sky attack won't be doing too much damage to us there. I think a rock slide does slightly more damage to the Skarmory 
than the uh, Sky attack does to us, so it's a good matchup. Skarmory versus Stunfisk. The opponent hasn't switched out, so we can just hopefully beat it to get switch advantage. We'll go for the Rock Slide again. We do get a shield from the opponent this time, which is very good for us. And we don't want to be lining up this Skarmory with our with our Venusaur in the back. Or our Wigglytuff really because of that steel typing on the Skarmory. So we want the Stunfish to be taking out this Skarmory. And that does take down the Skarmory there. So we've got switch advantage of Drift Blim now coming in. We do get to a Rock Slide. Hopefully be getting the second shield off the opponent here. We do. So we're, we've got shield advantage and switch advantage here which is good for us. Oh, we unfortunately couldn't quite get to another charge move there because of a bit of lag. We now come in with Wigglytuff. We do shield the Icy Wind there, but we do get an attack debuff and the opponent has another charge move stored up. Just an Icy Wind again, but this debuff in our attack every time, so that's not good for Wigglytuff, which relies heavily on the charm damage. And this Drifling is really spamming the charge moves here. Alright, we're not going to have a lot of attack left in a minute. Hopefully we can get to a charge move before we get taken down. I think we may just about get to one. Oh, so close. We just get to the Ice Beam before the Wigglytuff goes down. Crazy. And the Ice Beam takes down the Drift Blim just. And now a Clefable comes in. But in the back we have Venusaur, so we know what Venusaur has against the Fairy types. And we know how long it takes for Clefable to charge a charge move, so this should be a good battle there. Well played to the opponent. Insane damage. Moving straight into the next matchup here. Here we go with the Obstagoon. Obstagoon against a cast form. Interesting lead from the opponent here. Straight in with a Night Slash. Night Slash, good move. Doesn't do too much damage, but it's you do have a chance to get a an attack boost which is always nice just have to be careful of fairy types with obstagoon another duck there we go the attack boost has just come and now they've thrown in an Obama snow which our counter is doing super effective damage absolutely destroying the Obama snow which almost taken it down now our charge move coming at us we will shield just a weather ball there and we do take down the Obama snow Another cast form coming back in with stored energy. We do shield to avoid the weather ball. Ah, but the opponent does have two stored charge moves there. So at least we've taken the energy from the cast form. Obstagoon putting in some serious work there. Now we can come in with the Hypno and start going to work with the confusion damage. We are out of shield, so we'll have to take this charge move, but Hypno is very bulky, so weather ball doing not a lot of damage there. And now we've got a Flygon coming in. I think I went for the Thunder Punch thinking that the Flygon was sort of a flying type but it doesn't do a lot of damage to the ground type I believe so luckily we get to a Shadow Ball and that should be doing a fair amount of damage to the Flygon takes out the Flygon there and now the Cast Form comes back in and the opponent does quit, good battle there ok moving straight into the next matchup Obstagoon on the lead again against the Swampert not a bad lead for us here they do switch straight into a Rosa Raid. We stay in here, go for the Night Slash. Don't get the attack boost, unfortunately. We do get to another Night Slash. That Razor Leaf damage really destroying us there. They do take that one. So we do have a shield off the opponent, but we do go down, unfortunately. And I come in with the Venusaur. We don't want to put Stunfisk up against this Rosa Raid. We will be shielding to preserve the health as we don't have switch advantage here. Hopefully we can farm down the Rosary. Just farm down the Rosary. Now Venusaur has loads of stored energy. Now an Ataria comes in, but we can switch into Stunfisk and go to work with Rock Slide hopefully. But they do switch back into Swampert. We have a lot of stored energy though. Go for the Rock Slide. Doesn't do much damage there, but we do have an, uh, another Rock Slide and an Earthquake stored, so we're going to try and go for the Earthquake. We would not want to get hit by that, because that would one-shot us, that Earthquake. So hopefully the opponent will not shield here. The 
opponent doesn't shield. Down goes the Swampert. Now the Altaria comes back in. We don't have any shields left, but that was good work there taking down that Swampert. The Dragon Pulse doesn't do much to us there. We do try and charge up to two Rock Slides because that will be doing a lot of damage to Saltaria. Then we've got Swampert in the, uh, sorry, Venusaur in the back to come back in. Hopefully this won't be taking us out because we do have a Rock Slide almost there. It doesn't take us out. Brilliant. A Rock Slide can now come do some work on this Altaria. That does a massive chunk of damage there. And the Stunfisk has done great work there on the Altaria. Now we have a Sludge Bomb stored. Almost two sludge bombs stored on the Venusaur, so spammy. Doesn't quite take out the Altaria. And then we just go for a Frenzy Plant here. Should be closing out this matchup nicely. And down goes the Altaria. Good match there. And that's it from me, guys. I do have loads more battles to uh, get through. Uh, so stay tuned. Please do like and subscribe as always if you're enjoying the content. That will really help me out and help the channel grow. Thank you very much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.